Now, first the thing to do is undo the straps. Yeah. Can I trust you to hold a knife? No, you're too young. No. You think you can? Yeah. Don't fall over with it. I sit on the bed. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how. What I do is put it stable and I put my knee on it so it's all nice oh, and stable. Yeah. Then I just lift up. See that those two buckles there? You just yeah. got to lift those. One. Oh, that one, oh, that yeah. one broke because that was it particularly easy. Um, but you got to do it, I'll get you to do it this side. So just lift there and there and it should release. I'll get oh, out of your way. Yeah. yeah, when you're doing anything with a hive that involves sort of um, tents, like... Oh, um, where it could whack it, then I recommend you put your knee on it like that just to stabilize oh, yeah. it all so it doesn't go flying. Uh, I don't think the bees are very happy right now. They're all right. <laughs> they're, look, they're all dancing around there. Uh, is anyone, is, are any of them complaining? Are they saying, are they saying anything? In, in, are they making any complaints? I don't know. <laughs> well, can uh, you hear them saying anything? Hey, where's the hole that we got in? All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to break the... I'll just show you what we're going to do on this box. Oh, okay. So, um... You just stood on that letter. So, um... Okay, yeah, you go way. back where you were, John. We're going to split it through this bottom okay. joint. See how there's three sections? Yeah. We're not going to touch that top section. We're going to split it through here. Just and that straight off there. Well, it's not going to lift off because it's all stuck oh. down. But I'll Did show you. Get this for me? We're going to separate it. I'll show you how to separate it in a minute. Oh, no. And the idea... Is it there's brood in each half? Why is oh, yeah. That's actually upside down. That should be like that. And we're going to keep it in its original position. So the top, we're going to have this handy. This is the empty bottom. So the top, you're going to, when you take that off, you're going to put it straight down on, on that bottom. Okay. So just have that handy somewhere out of your way. Just there. Yeah. Yep. And there was that, see that hive tool there? What you're going to do, now, we're up, we're, we're, I reckon the best way to work, I'll just show you and then you can do it is to use your body as to sort of brace the hive. Oh yeah. So work towards you, so you're going to get this, I'll just do the first one, you're going to get your, the tool in there like that, but it takes a bit of effort to get it in. See, it's going to wiggle, see I've got it there now. Oh yeah. This part isn't even sharp. Like that, so oh, do that in each corner. Okay. I know it's I'll get out of the way again. Could cut the it doesn't have to be really sharp. Yeah, that's plenty. And now can I turn it? Yeah, turn it is yeah, the easiest way to do it. That's right. Oh, just take, John. Just get the strap. You're just crushing that strap. Just look. Oh, yeah. Just put, take it. Put it aside. That's it. I'm up here again. If you fall down, you might damage the beehive. That's okay, that's it. Alright, now you've loosened those. Now what you're going to do, um, just put that hive tool aside. And with this tool, I'll show you, I'll, I'll get into position and show you the again, John. I've got the hive tool. What you're going to do, is you're going to go in down here, Yeah. at a diagonal. So just imagine the nice down at that level, right? But I'm just showing you approximately diagonal what we're doing. Across. You're going to go across like this, and you're going to sort of feel as you go, then you're going to pull it out and you're going to come and do the other corner as well and you're going to okay. turn it around and do those corners. But what you, you, you're actually feeling as you're, as you're pulling the knife, so what you're going to be trying to do is cut through, so imagine uh, down in there, yeah. there's a circular structure which oh, is where the yeah. brood are yeah. and um, there's usually a lot of stored food at the front and the back. Yeah. So you want to cut, sort of cut into that oh, stored wait. food. Okay. In all corners, but you oh, don't want to go wait. all the way through because you'll damage so the brood. So you there. Yeah, more or less. But you're actually oh, feeling okay. because when, when you when it, through, it'll be looser. Exactly. Yeah. When it feels a bit softer, and you might even hear a little crunch, and it sort of okay. it sort of gives you sort of you go cutting, cutting. It's a bit hard, and then it gives, and you realise you're through. Yeah. At that point, okay. So I'll do the first first one for you. So again, use your body to sort of brace it. Hey, 
the bee on my head. You're annoying the bees. Okay, that's pro I've gone further than I said then, but um, oh, that was yeah. about right. Now I'll turn it 90 degrees and do do the next that's one, and then honey. let me get out of your way. It's the body of the dog. No, that's not honey. What is that? It's um, wax. Wax. Wow. Wow. I think that went. Okay, through. good. Yeah. More wax. Turn it round. Some bees on here. Uh, what the hey, bees? There's more bees and more oh, bees you coming on there. Probably won't see the queen. She's kind of shy. She uh. hides. But when you do see her, it's, she's very obvious because she's a lot bigger than the other bees. Uh. It is exciting when you see her. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's probably. I think that's good. true. John? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, hang on to that knife. Yeah. What you're going to do now, you're going to use two hands now. Here's this other tool. I'm trying to keep out of Alicia's. Ooh. Oh, I thought I stood on your toe then. I thought I was crushing your toe. Lucky it was just a rock. What you're going to do is you're going to get down here. Yeah. And you've got to be able to sort of see. So you'll, you'll have to, in fact, probably get down on your knees like this. And you're going to... You're going to the best place to have this tool is just in there. So you're levering up. Levering so you're gonna you want to leave it sort of down flat. So I'm gonna push the whole thing a bit this oh, way, yeah. So that we can leave it on that other side. All right, and just make sure it doesn't slide that way. Come on, but we're Come going on. to just keep that handy. So with your um, with your left hand. Actually, I'll, I might have to show you. But sometimes it comes apart very neatly. Oh yeah. Other times you you need to use a knife to sort of help to so cut it and separate it. Yeah. So you're going to get down in here and maybe on this side, just lift, lever it up and see what we've got. I'll get out of the way again. You stay there. Okay. Lever this off. Yeah, yeah, but no, but you've got to get your head down and see what's happening. I'm going to come down there too. Oh yeah. This the. You're you're right, Lisa. You stay where you are. Uh, what have we got? Oh, okay, yeah, all right. Um, just keep going, John. But you'll need to get that in further so that you get more oh, of a lever. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's coming apart all by itself. So I'm going to come over there now. Oh, sorry, Celeste. I'm going to, I'm going to just lift this up. It'll just come straight off. Now, you can see up in there, there's a lot of brood. And down in here, there's less, oh, so it yeah. hasn't divided very evenly. Oh, but I no. think it's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down on on that box. I'll just uh, just move over, move right out to the. I'll put that there. And... Uh, you can take it if you like, John. Okay. I'll... And just oh no, put it put it down where it was. Yeah. Take this and just pop it straight down on there. Okay. Now we're just going to check this. To see what we've got. Yeah. It's a little bit small. Oh, is it? But I think it'll be all right. Are they propolis stores? No. So what we've got here, see these cells? See all these small cells yeah. in the middle? That's where the bees are being reared. They're the brood cells. Oh, That's where the yeah, baby the bees are being ones. reared. See how some of them have just been made. Uh, some see how some of them are being made and they're open. Yeah. They're the ones that are just being made now. They'll be the next ones to be filled with food. <laughs> Sorry, Fl <laughs> bee flew in my mouth. They'll get filled with food. <laughs> spat it out. It's all right. I think I spat it on your foot actually. <laughs> and then the and then the eggs will be laid in there, and the bees will close them up, and um, the larvae will develop in those cells. So there's a, not a lot of brood in there, but I think it's okay. I think there's enough. Yeah. But what I would do, I would leave this one, which is going to be the weaker one, in this place. In this place where they were. Yeah, where yeah. they were. Yeah. And that, grub. Yeah, we've dislodged a grub. So see that? There you can see very nicely. Mm. It's, I'm going to take it out. It's, it's not going to survive, unfortunately. So see oh, it there? Yeah. That's a bee. You see the little dark spot on it, on it yeah. there? You know yeah. what that is? Can anyone see what the dark spot is? No. Yeah. Dark spot. What do you think it is, John? 
Like an, an eye or something. Yeah, it's an eye. Yeah. The eye always goes black first. See how the bl bees are black? Yeah. Mm. Well, they they go from this white to a black colour, and the eye is always the first part to go black. That's why it's, it's got that black spot on it. There's a couple more there. They've, fi they've finished feeding, and they're getting ready to turn wow. into adults. And you, so that's the brood. And see this here, around the outside? This is stored food. Oh, what do you yeah. think that might be? Pollen. Yay, pollen. What about this here? Nectar. Yeah, but what are, you, what are they bees turn nectar into? Honey. honey. Yes, honey. Whoa. Didn't take you girls. Ooh, didn't take too much amazing. encouragement. Mm. Good? Mm. Yeah. So all we've got to do now, uh, I'll keep this one out of the sun, but we'll get, where's the rest of the box? Okay, we're gonna. Okay. There was a dirty bee on Daddy's foot. A dirty bee? Yes, it had. It looked like it could be rolling in dirt. Oh, I must have got some of that. Now, look here, this is interesting. See that hole there just next to yeah. my finger? Where those bees. Where, yeah, where the bees are coming and going. That's their entrance tube. See down oh, here? This is their entrance yeah. hole. Oh, nice and they there. always make a tube from their entrance hole internally into the hive so there it is there you can see it and it goes further than that that's gone like from the entrance up to here mm -hmm. but it goes further than that it usually goes about 100 millimeters or so or more even and do you know why they do that why? so they can guard their entrance and make a oh. tube so anything trying to get in has to go past all these guards and the guards will sniff it and they'll taste it They'll actually pat it with their antennae. Have you, you notice that insects have got antennae? Yeah. You know what they are? There's another name for antennae. Feelers. Feelers. They, and they, they've got their feelers. And they actually touch each other with their feelers. And they taste each other. Just like we, we, we usually look at each, at each other to recognise each other. But bees don't. This is in the dark. They can't see each other. They can't see if they're if it's another insect from another hive or even a predator trying to get in. So instead they have to feel and taste and smell. Ah. So they do that with their antennae. So these guard bees with their antennae, they're feelers, they taste, they feel any movement, they'll, they'll touch it with their antennae. And if it's not the right smell and taste, they'll chuck it out. Ah. All right, John. So the next step right. is simply is to put that's exactly right yeah so that's precisely right so i'm just going to put this just take that top one off just for the point purposes of illustration oh, yeah. you can just see these two anti-slump bars go down and that plate goes up and the ventilation hole goes at the back is the front entrance there's the back ventilation hole that's just going to sit down on there that's, don't need to do anything there to prepare that. that part <laughs> that is to stop them bringing their brood any higher so that this box gets used for something else. Honey. Yeah, honey. Do you want to pop that on, John? Yeah. So that's it. Right. Your first hive split. Now there's one more thing left to do. You know what that is? Strap it all safely together so it doesn't fall apart. Um, oh, you don't do that yet, though, because we've got to get... It's very delicate at the moment. You'd only have to give it a little nudge and it would fall over or get knocked on. So. Uh, how will the bees go into this? Well, I'll show you. Let's get them strapped up first. There's so much of the stuff they can have. Oh, this doesn't look like. Oh man, this bee's inside. There's a lot in that one, I think. What does it look like? <laughs> you just saw it. Well, the bottom of that one is empty, and then the other half of that one is in there, which is only in top. So, we're going to put this strap. Uh, can you just lift that box up? Hang on, let me put my strap there. Okay, now you lift the box up just a little bit for me. Up, higher, more. Now you're going to have to move this hand because I need no, to have it. No, no, okay, no, now try and lift it. Leave that one Two left. hands and lift it. That's it. A little bit more. It's heavy. Yeah. No, 
There we go. Okay, now where's that little buck off? That one there. Okay, I'll show you how to do these. So you fold it back so that the loose end is out. Yeah. And you put the buckle through. And you thread that little bit through there. Oh, yeah. And that's one side done. Cool. And the other side, do the same. Loose end Loose out. end up, buckle through, that through the hole. And then pull. And you can pull. Now to tighten these, I recommend you do the same as what we did before. Just stay where you are. I won't stand on you. Is to. Look, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Is that two queen bees? Is to put your knee on here. Oh yeah. Pull it down. Get it nice and tight. That won't go that way. I'll pull it up. That's it. That's it. That's nice and tight. So this is the one. Look, this is a stronger one. So oh, this yeah. one we're going to move. Because what you'll find is a lot of the bees will come back to this position. Oh no, that's the one with the bottom, the bottom little bit. Isn't oh it? yeah, that's the weaker one. Yeah. So we're going to leave this one here. And this is the position it was in, right? Yeah, the, the, the basically the, just all like that, that way. Well, the, exactly, just around a bit. Just straight like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now just be careful of that one beside you. Watch this one. So you yeah. don't want that top bit sliding off. It's um, don't let this one slip off, see? So we'll need that other, here's this strap here, one. Yeah. Just to lift it a bit. That was two Just on watch that, that, that it's not really attached on, so you might... Should if I, if you grab the bottom... Yeah. Into the grass or just do it there? Wherever you, wherever you like, but just if you grab the top like that, it might just pull off the bottom, that's all. Oh, yeah. So, turn around there with it. That's it. That on top. Through there. No pants on the hive. Yep. Do they want to get all the honey? And then cut through the loose That's bit. That's right, yep. Do you still move over a bit, please, Val? Oh, just oh. before you tighten that, yeah, just get it. It's um, not really... Oh, yeah, it's not. Yeah. That's it. Like that. Yeah. Back down the middle. Yeah. And then, excuse me, Val, can you just... Oh, my God, I can I'll just turn it. I can just turn it like this. Yeah, yeah. And then, me on top. That one down. Is that okay, do you think? Yep. Tight enough. Yep, that's great. And now, uh, this one out onto the, onto yeah. the other bit. Yeah, whoa! <laughs> keeps scaring me up there. It's up here. It's scary up there. Yeah, and this is the big half. Straight down onto the... Yeah. One of you girls could take that strap and put it in the bin. It's no good anymore. It's all rotten in the sun. You'll probably find what will happen with this one is these bees will start coming and going pretty soon. Oh, yeah. But a lot of them. Especially the older workers that are, are used to foraging. Oh yeah. When they leave this one, they'll go out and th they know the area already because oh, they they're do. experienced foragers. Yeah. So they'll find they might go you know to that palm tree over there that they know has got a flower on it. Yeah. Collect some resource nectar or pollen, but when they come back, they may not have learnt this location, so they oh, may they end up back there. back up there. So what if, yeah. even though that's a weaker hive in terms of how much brood it had in it. Mm. You'll probably see more activity at yeah, that one more. over the next few yeah. weeks or months. This one should have activity too, 
but it'll probably be a lot lower. But some of them will come back. Some of them, Mommy, especially the ones, so uh, as they age, so when they first emerge as adults, they yeah. do jobs inside the hive. Oh, okay. Then when they get older, they become foragers. Oh, so so the ones every day the there's a few yeah. hundred bees, like a, a hive like this Actually. is breeding every day, yeah. a couple of hundred new bees. And so there's a couple of hundred progressing through the different jobs mm. that they have to do. Oh, yeah, so so every day really there'll be a couple of hundred, well, maybe up, up to a couple of hundred bees that are... Um, Becoming foragers, and those oh, ones yeah. will learn this location. So yeah. they'll, they'll, so they'll come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. Now the other thing is that this one is completely full. This is full, had heaps of mm. brood in it, and this should be full of honey as well. So if you liked, you could um, once this all stabilizes, which might take. Um, I'd recommend a month at least. In fact, yeah. I'll just leave these now. But early next spring, say September, yeah, this should still be full of honey. Yeah. So if you wanted to um, collect some honey, you could take that top off. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But not that one because no. that one they were only in the bottom. So they've they've got a, that other one they're only in the bottom. That was empty, and that was empty. Yeah, yeah. yeah they got to build right up before they start. Yeah. yeah. 